Commander, Commander, Commander Legends. I got some different lighting in this video. Let me know if it's uh, doing the video justice or not. First time we're doing a six-way. That's right. It's a big orgy in the house. Uh, we got Cruz, David, Devin, Martin, Jordan, Free Range, Funny Farm. Good luck to all involved. TCG player market value. Uh, winner is going to take home everything in this box. These boxes are like 460 bucks, maybe 470 after tax. Just freaking ridiculous pricing. There have been a, 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 maybe not too many reprints, but at least a couple reprints. I know Commander Plate is one that's getting reprinted in one of the secret layers. Uh, I think it's going to get some nice spicy foiling, maybe. Not too certain, but that's one card that you could pull out of uh, these Commander Legends packs that's getting a reprint. But not like it's like one of the most expensive cards in the world, you know? So uh, we'll see what happens there. Pack for you, pack for you, pack for you. There you go, there you go, there you go. And one, one, one. Everyone gets two packs to crack. I better move this over slightly. Here, actually, let's do it like this. Bada bing, bada boom, bada boom. Okay, let's get into cracking the captain. Good luck to all involved. This is a big one, man. One person's taking everything. But I figure what a great way, you know, just to uh, uh, drive down the price and make it a freaking fun, exciting chance for someone to win a big. I mean, you could pull between... I'm going to guess the value. This is a big swing. It's going to be anywhere between 300 and probably 450 Somewhere in there. Let's go. Ghastly Demise. Anything over a dollar is going to be factored in, according to TCG Player. So there's a lot of cards we have to consider here. So funny how some cards are faded and others are not. Really weird how that happens. Uh, then we got Advocast. Okay. So looking for the big box. Cruise, good luck. Marara. Mar Miara. Thorn of the Glade. Shh, it's a secret. But I don't douche. Oh, God. Uh, all ingesting. Yummy, yummy. Okay. War Room. There you have it. There you have it. War Room. I don't think it's... Oh, no, this is a card that went up. I remember it was like a buck. And I'm like, that's going to be seen a lot of play in a lot of Commander decks. And sure enough, it is. Ah, oh, three visits. Okay. Three visits. Sure, sure. Come on, baby. Get that freaking fire. Cruise, let's go. Oh, Jessica's will. High downs. Extended art. Definitely uh, a big favorite in commander builds. Uh, and I think in, uh, also in modern, maybe? Yeah, I think so. Maybe. I don't know. Jessica's will. Bada skadink. All right. That's a, that's a big money, money taker. Architect of Ascension. Also, any rare or mythic, regardless of price, will be factored into this. I think that the camera's doing this justice, man. I got to stick to this lighting. Sadar Kondo of Jamora. He has no chance of getting much value, but he's here as Etchness and Bell Borka Spectral. You don't really look like a... Well, I guess you kind of got to look like a Spectral a little bit. All right, fair enough. Uh, tokens are not factored into this one whatsoever. Next, we have David. David and Goliath. David and Goliath. Heroes. I want to hear... Who your hero is. Wrong answers only. All right, let's go. Let's go. This should be fun. <laughs> the comments should be fun today. Thought Vessel. I think that's up there. A few pennies. All right. Nice little... Uh, oh, no. I thought that was like a crease from the factory. It's on the card. It's just how it is. Master of the Review. Rebu. Eye of the Storm. Whatever. Austere Command. Come on. We need a big freaking hit. Last time we did a battle, someone pulled an extended art foil jeweled lotus. Yeah, that battle was easily decided right then and there. Opal Palace for David. Come on, David. Got a shake and bake, baby. Promise of tomorrow. Not going to cut it. Mm -mm, not going to cut it right there. <sighs> Prava of the Steel Legion. Remember, got to be over a dollar if it's common or uncommon. Prosh. Prosh. There you go. A fun card. This thing's probably just continuously going to tick up in value over time until it gets a reprint. Your Lock of Scorch Thrash. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right, so nothing too crazy there. For Mr. David. Uh, but we do have Devin. Devin on board. Anyone wondering, I always go by alphabetical order. Um, when it comes to battles. It's just what it is. I don't know. I got to stick to that. Because if I mix it up, someone's going to be like, I should have won that battle. You didn't do the alphabetical order. So I go by that. One of these days, I'm waiting. I'm going to mess it up, though. I will mess it up. Armix, Filigree Thrasher. Ooh. Waiting for this card to jump in price. Really, really freaking neat. A little off-center there. Still a nice little mythic. You got the old Zat, man. Zat. He's he's up in there. Proper pronouns, guys. Zat. There you go. Okay. Zat 
And come all as well. Oh, we need a juicier pool there. But seeing his planeswalker, I think Devin's taking the lead. Nope, Jess guy is up there in freaking price for sure. Kamal's will, humble defector. I don't think they're worth much. And you put a little spell on this person. Mnemonic Deluge. This is another card that has slowly went up over time. Um, I think it was around like three, four bucks, and then it did go up. Maybe seven bucks now. Not too certain. Mnemonic Deluge. We got some mythics there for Devin. Master Smith, the old Imperial Tactician. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And again, Arcanum Weaver. I played football today uh, with a friend. It was freaking awesome. I'll have you know. It felt good, but man, I feel like I, at any moment I could have pulled a, like my hamstring. My left hamstring, for some reason, is giving me trouble lately. Never had any issues. I know I'm getting older. I'm 19 now, so it's weird. Free range, funny farm. Let's go. Get that value, but... Uh, holy faded. Um, it's good to get out there and get some exercise. If there was a time in the last month or so, you guys went out and got some exercise. Tell, I want to hear about it. Did you feel good after doing it? You know, or are you always hitting up the gym or, you know, going on walks or jogs or something? Um, I want to hear about it. I, I want to know more about you guys. So there you go. We got the worm Togo goblin goblin, uh, weapon Smith. I told you yesterday in the video that when I go to the gym, I like it when there's nobody there. Yeah. Judgment free zone. There you go. Planet fitness. That's right. Elvish Dreadlord. Dude's slick. Elvish Dreadlord. <sighs> Reliquary Tower. Still up there in value for an uncommon. I mean, that's not too bad. They go free range. This is a Plague Reaver. I was going to say, this is not... Um, we're, not we're not doing too, uh, too amazing yet, but we're not doing too bad. We have two people that got some value, I think. Tormod the Desecrator. Fun one. This one just makes the cut. Very nice uh, etch foil there. And Moldrath of the Gravetide. Okay, we'll give a little bell for that one too, free range. There you go. Moldrath shows up. Okay. And Krark the Thumbless. Is he up there? He's flipping coins and stuff, right? No? Yeah, he is the coin flipper. Yep, he's a flipper. All right, Krark. There you go. So free range on board now. Off to Jordan. Jordan, what do you got, baby? I want to see someone pull something sick. I want to see someone pull something really sick, and then I want to see that person lose. Like, <laughs> is that is that is that messed up? I just think it's fun. I mean, you know, like someone just averages a lot higher, you know, like 30, 40 bucks a pack, and someone pulls like a 60, 70 dollar card and just loses. Art and intrepid archaeologist, body of knowledge. I like this. Uh, it reminds me of cracked ice. If you guys uh, ever got into the sports card world, you know, cracked ice cards by Panini. Um, started out with content, uh, yeah, Panini contenders. Uh, started out with playoff, but then can, uh, Panini bought him out. Uh, but very freaking cool. Kind of, but just a little bit reminds me of Cracked Ice right in there. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. There's Preordain for our common. That might be, I think that's over a buck. Come on, Jordan. Let's go, Jordy. Hellkite Courser. What a mythic to get, huh? That's probably like three, four bucks. All right. Gonna have to do better than that, Mr. Jordy. Sha. Celebrante. Celebrante. Look at all those arms. What would you do with all those arms? I know what I'd do. Soul Tender. There's quite a few mythics in this slot that are just kind of dudley. But again, over time, you know, if they don't reprint them, they go up. Jared. It's Jared. True heir. Okay. And a treasure token. So Jordan, he's still in the running. We got Martin now. We got Martin. Um, that Jess guy, Will, is really doing some big things. Martin. Good luck. Martin Lawrence. He's up in the house right now. Here we go. Here we go. Anything over a buck. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There's knowledge. Coastline Lars. Torma the Desecrator. This one's not over a buck, I don't think. I think in time. Wardwing Familiar. I think the camera looks nice. Larry's Larry Nevin showing on up. Foil. Nice little disc there. Ah, Factor of Fiction. Come on. This is the money shot. This is the money shot right here. Ah, Flamekin Herald. You got burned. You got toasted right there, Martin. Come on. Give him some value, though. Kessig Ranger. Need something big here. Need something big. Chosen of Crawfix. I mean, you're guaranteed a mythic in every pack, but that's not the mythic we really want, is it? And the Urborg Tyrant. All right, Martin, a little weak sauce there. So across the board, here's all the totals for everyone right now. Um, good luck on this final spin. You guys are all awesome for participating in this. If anyone wants to get up in the mix, link in the description of every video. Check Patreon. I'm, I'm introducing more battles. One, because they're cheaper on shipping. Um, and I can charge less for them, so I don't got to ship to like 20 people doing a huge break, you know. Uh, but secondly, um, it gets more it gets more patrons involved, and I think it's just more fun. 
Uh, Viscera Seer. Bada bang. Okay. That's the card that got the old, uh, yeah, uh, printed to 100. Yeah, sure was. Okay. In Secret Lair. Corrupted Observer. Cruz, you better close out something big here, buddy. Una's Trickster. Now, yeah. All right, you got like two more cards to shake and bake here. God, Dongblade Regent Extended Art. I don't see that one too often. Not that you really want to see that one. Extended Art Foil. And Acidic Slime. Now, all right, Cruz going out pretty weak sauce here. Sla oh, I forgot, there was one more there. Slash the Ranks. This did not help you, though. We need a big mythic hit. This might be one of those dud boxes. I hope not, though. Brazen Plunderer. Yeah, go on, go on. That's the etching. And a great hearted. Hey, don't lives do matter. Cruz, I'm not sure if that's enough value for you. Hans Erickson. Ugh, yeah, bit the bullet there. Okay. Um, were you going with Jessica's Will, or is it the second person? No, you had the Jessica's Will. So Cruz might still be up in this. If uh, values remain low, no one pulls anything like over 30 bucks. I mean, David, he's got a chance here to do it. But Cruz might take it home. We'll see. So, holy crap. Whoever wins, I want you to take a look at this card. It looks extremely funny in person. Like the fading around the border is really odd. Okay. Intra yeah. Let's just compare these two right here, for example. Get a good look at that card. It is weird, man. Okay. First time I've seen something like that. Mall Drifter. Extended art. Uncommon foil. With color of wirewood. Nothing. Here we go. Let's shake and bake. Come on, Dave. Let's go. Prototype. Flashbag Martyr. Come on, man. Big freaking hit. What is up? What is up with this one? Come on. Flashbag Martyr. Come on. Ah, necrotic Hex. No! Down to just a few cards here. Just a few cards. We got Roga Son of Ra. That's that, that might be five bucks. That's some value. The Mind Razor. No. And the last card. Remember, in the last, the last slot here, you can pull one of those Planeswalkers. I think there's two different Planeswalkers. You could pull one of the big old Planeswalkers out of here. But my friend David did not. On to Devin. Come on, Devin. Let's get some value for you. Let's get some value for you. Oh, boy. Sweet baby Jesus. Here we go. Doom Traveler. Is Devin a Doom Traveler, or is he going to get some freaking dope value? Let's go. Ex Ooh, Explosion of Riches. Explosion of Fading. Coiling Oracle. Extended Art Foil. Okay. Sky Warden. Oh, Renegade Recruiter. Where's the value, man? Come on. These last four packs, someone better hit something nice. Blasphemous Act. Oh, this, this reminds me of one of, the, uh, one of those boxes we had when I... Oh, that whole video was terrible. There was not much value in it, but it's reminding me of that. Commander's Fear. Nah, don't go this crappy. Come on, we need a big hit. Commander Beacon. I, I can't believe I hit the bell for that, but I mean, it's like six, seven bucks. Maybe eight. There you go. Devin putting some points on the board. Kessig Trapper. He needs something big. Team of the Weaver. Hot dogs. That is big. I don't know how big. That Jessica's Will is freaking fighting you. This last pack, or this last card right here might determine the outcome. Oh, the Chaos Bloom. That's like a buck or something. Ooh. All right. Nothing nutty there. Free range. Everyone, good luck. Oh, man. We're on to free range. We're on to the funny farm. Good luck. Boom. Sissé's Ring. Path of Ancestry. Is it? No, probably not the, the regular version. I think I see it three visits, which is automatically a nice hit. Another one of these cards really faded in the border. Extremely faded in the border. All right. Uh, me, 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 Tarek, Metric, me, Meteoric Mace. Right, it's a meteor shooting now. Okay. Bam. Three visits. Extended Art Foil. Nice pull right there. So free range still up in this. You could pull something juicy as heck after that. Yuraga Chieftain. Abomination of Lanawar. Court of Bounty. Foil. Regular. Okay. Soul Ring. All right. That's, that's good. Uncommon. That's good. Uncommon juice. Come on. Come on, Free Range. What do you got? Oh, God. Nightshade Harvester. And your hopes and dreams just went out the window, eh? The, uh, the dude that itches a lot. Okay. And Chrome Opus. Cool art. Look at that, man. Look at the duality. Pretty sick. Oh! Stock the seam of a thousand faces! At the end, did Free Range just steal this one? I got no idea. That's some juicy freaking value there, though. Nice, nice mythic pool in that last slot. Yeah. Okay. Jordy, can you compete with that? That's some heat, man. Jordy, 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 Jordy. 
Good luck. Here we go. Preordain, foil, might be over a buck. Might be over a buck. Shimmer, Supreme Will. Mm-hmm. Come on. This, this, is, this, is where, this is what it's all about. These last two packs, guys. Hold on to your britches. Sakashima's Will. Now what you want to see. I cannot stand this card. I don't even like the art on it. Nothing about this card. I don't even like the ability. It's absolutely nothing. Boros Charm. Probably over a buck. For the extended art version, I would imagine. Okay. Jordy, what do you got? Blade Griff Prototype. Second Blade Griff Prototype. I feel anytime I see a Blade Griff Prototype, the box sucks. That's that's my thoughts. Uh, Reverent Medium. And the old Usurper. Okay. Supper time. There you go. It's been served. Lisa Shroud of Dusk. I don't think Jordy's up in this one, and he has a... Uh, he's experiencing horrors right now. Not a... Uh, yeah, uh, plural. Okay. Here we go. Martin. Last pack for Martin Jordy. I'm sorry. Anyone else? I'm not sure who's, uh, who's all out. I know Cruz is definitely in this one, and Free Rage is in this one. I think Devin might have hit something good, or David. All right. Last pack. Who is taking home all this freaking moolah? Charcoal Diamond. Command Tower Foil. I'm not sure if that's over buck. I know the extended art is. Strategic planning. Come on. Skilled animator. Martin, this is all about you, buddy. Everyone's rooting for you. We got witches. We got a familiar. The last you. Why are you even here? The last you. Oh my gosh, please. Let's get some juicy hits here. Oh no, my no. That is not what you want to see. Sakashima's will. Oh man. Generous gift. Oh, give it. Just give uh, just give something big here. Oh my God. This is like what, man, these are the kind of boxes you could actually get. That's terrible. Ghost of Ramirez de Pietro. We had like three or four boxes like this out of a case. It was bad. Triton Hero. Okay. I know that's some value. Martin, if you have another big pool back here, you might run away. Nope. Kadama the East Tree. It might be five bucks. Okay. We're going to tally this up. This was a very intense battle. A little lackluster. I want to see some bigger hits. But again, this is like one of those boxes I opened before. Just nothing crazy, you know, like that Jeweled Lotus or um, even that Commander's Play. Just really nothing crazy. There's the totals. Uh, congratulations to the winner. You're getting all of this, which is freaking nuts. Um, very, very nuts. Oh, that's a weird a dent on that. That Ancient has like a, see, yeah. That Ancient's got a big old ding on it. Okay. Good thing it's just a common. All right. Yeah, someone's taking this all home. Wow. Um, I'm looking forward to the next thing that we crack. It may possibly be this nutty OG Modern Masters, which we're doing a battle on. Or it's going to be the Crimson Vow Collector Case Break, which will be a lot of fun. So stay tuned. Uh, check out the other battles and other videos, guys, right after these credits. I appreciate you tuning in. I'm Joy Moss. Bad Boy Gaming. Scott.